So why would you want a smartwatch that's also a smartphone? Well, there are a few reasons. First, it's super convenient. You can leave your phone at home and still be able to make calls, send text and use all your favorite apps. Second, it's more secure. If you lose your phone, you're not going to lose your smartwatch too. And third, it's just cool. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the new Model X. It's not a Tesla, it's made by Rockbit. I've been testing it for a few weeks now and I'm pretty impressed. It has all the features of a regular smartwatch like a heart rate monitor, GPS, unbuilt-in speaker and microphone. But it also has all the features of a regular smartphone like a camera system, a mobile network connection, access to YouTube and access to Google Play Store. Let's start with the unboxing. The Model X comes in a standard smartwatch box. Inside you'll find the usual stuff, manuals, warranty card and the watch itself. But there's also a charging cable and a screwdriver. And I'll explain why in a minute. The watch is built like a tank. It's big, bulky and looks like a brick. But it's also incredibly durable. The body is made of zinc alloy with a ceramic bezel and a silicon strap. And it's available in black and orange. The front panel of the watch has a large 1.99 inch IPS display with a resolution of 400 by 455 pixels and a refresh rate of 50 Hz. There's also a selfie camera as well as speaker and microphone holes, both of which are hidden under the strap mount between the logs of the watch. On the right side of the watch you'll find a power button, a back button and a side camera. We'll talk more about the cameras later in the video. On the back of the watch, there are PPG sensors for heart rate measurements and charging pins. On the left side of the watch, you'll see four screws. Use the screwdriver to remove the screws and remove the plastic guard to access to the SIM card slot. Once you've inserted your SIM card, just put the plastic guard and screws. Ta -da! The Model X can make phone calls, send texts and use all your favorite apps just like a regular smartphone. It supports 4G but not 5G. The call quality is good and the speaker and the microphone are both clear and loud. The watch is also IP68 water and dust resistant, so you don't have to worry about getting it wet or dirty. Overall, the Model X is a unique and durable smartwatch that's built to last. It's not the prettiest smartwatch on the market, but it's certainly eye-catching. And with the SIM card installed, you can use it as a standalone device, giving you total freedom. The Model X runs on old Android 9.0 Pi, but it's still a champ. You can download any app, but some apps might not be optimized for the small screen. The watch has a built-in browser, so you can browse the internet on the go. You can even download Chrome or Edge if you prefer. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even watch YouTube or Netflix. YouTube Shorts are probably the best option though, since the screen is vertical. One of the coolest things about the Model X is that it can work as a standalone device. This means you don't need to have it connected to your phone to use it. You can make calls, send texts and use apps without having your phone with you. Thanks to its connectivity, you can also pair it with your earbuds, listen to music, which can be streamed or played from MP3 stored on the watch. The Model X is powered by the Unisoc processor, which is not the fastest on the market, but it's still pretty zippy. It's actually faster than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410, which is another popular processor in this price range, so it's plenty fast enough for browsing the web, checking emails and running the apps. It also has 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, which is plenty of space to store your stuff. The watch can be a bit sluggish with some tasks, but it's not a big issue. It might also heat up on some apps, but I think it's just because it doesn't have proper cooling. I wanted to perform a Geekbench test, but the watch heated up so quickly that I decided not to. Tasty. Model X has some customization options. You can change the watch faces from the factory loaded ones, download a few simple ones or create your own from any photo. The selection of watch faces is pretty limited though and I think they should use some more stylish options. But overall, it's not a big deal. 
The watch has two cameras built in, a side camera and a front camera. The side camera is 5 megapixels and has f1.8 aperture, while the front camera is 1.8 megapixels and also has f1.8 aperture. Both cameras take OK quality photos and I'm happy with them. The front camera also serves as a video called camera, but it's angled so I have to twist my wrist a little if I want the person at the other end to see my face. Not ideal, but it works. The Model X can also record videos in full HD and 30 frames per second, and it even has electronic image stabilization. Let's check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This phone watch is basically a phone on your wrist, but it also has loads of features that make it a good fitness tracker. It has 9 sports modes built in, so you can track your workouts from walking and running to badminton. It also has a built-in GPS, so you can track your routes and see how far you've gone. You can also install Google Fit or Strava, which are two popular fitness tracking apps. These apps offer more features than the built-in sports modes, and they can also sync and share results across other devices like your phone or tablet. The watch can track your heart rate, steps, distance, calories burned and sleep quality. You can also use Google Maps as a navigation. When it comes to the core feature of every smartwatch, the accuracy of step count, the Model X is comparable to an old-fashioned manual tally counter. I'm gonna do 1000 steps and see if the Model X can keep up and how accurate it is. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. It's important to note that all smartwatches have some degree of inaccuracy, so it's best to use them as a general guide rather than a definitive measure of your activity. So on my 1000 steps clicked manually on the tally counter, the Model X missed only 3 steps. I didn't see that coming, that's a really good accuracy. Possibly thanks to its GPS, the watch very precisely counted my steps. When you start an exercise, it takes a few seconds for the watch to lock onto the GPS signal. This is normal and once the exercise is finished, it will show the route you took on the Google Maps. The watch also reads the heart rate, so I had to compare it with the readings of the finger-clamped medical pulse oximeter. This is a rest rate, so it's very easy to do. Both devices stopped at 71 beats per minute, which is very promising. But reacting heart rate is too easy. I'll do a few push-ups and then repeat the measuring. This is where the most smartwatches struggle, so let's see how Model X handles the increased heart rate. The watch measures slightly less beats per minute than the oximeter, but it stopped at 97 BPM and the oximeter shows 95, not bad. Now, let's check the SpO2 readings. It takes a while, but it looks like Model X shows an exaggerated 100% of oxygen blood saturation and the oximeter 97, which is more close to the true SpO2. The watch also measures your sleep, so I've been wearing it for a few consecutive nights to sleep, which I normally don't do. The watch never missed any sleep or nap, which is the second watch I've tested after the latest Fitbit that never missed a sleep tracking. However, the readings are not very detailed here. It's just the total length of the sleep, light sleep, deep sleep and that's it. I'm glad it records even daily naps, but it could provide a more detailed breakdown. The battery life is a bit of a mixed bag. It takes about an hour to fully charge and the Rockbit claims it can last up to 5 days on a single charge. Well, in my experience with normal use when the watch is being connected to Wi-Fi at home and using 4G everywhere else, it actually lasts 1 day or 24 hours on a single charge. But that's still pretty good for a smartwatch with this much power. Here's a thermal image of the watch when it's charging. The full charge takes slightly over an hour and the watch heats up to almost 40 degrees Celsius, which is around 104 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's pretty normal. To extend the battery life, I turned on the airplane mode, which gave me almost 5 days on a single charge, but I lost most of the watch's functionality. You can transfer data between your PC and the Model X using the charging cable. Just plug it in and voila! But don't try that with Mac, it won't work. You can also use Google Drive to transfer files both ways. So you might say, one day isn't enough, but remember, it's basically an Android phone on your wrist, and many phones last only a day. 
You can always charge it overnight or use the airplane mode when you don't need it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. This bulky smartwatch does it all, from tracking your fitness to making calls. It's got a big display, a powerful processor and pretty good battery. If you're interested in Model X, you can check it out on the official Rockbit store. And if you're a follower and you use the discount code in the video description, you can get extra 30% off the normal price. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it helpful. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.